Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to call the one feature file from the another feature file. Let us take the example of this scenario in which we are sending the put request. Before we send the put request, we need to send the post request so that the job entry should get created in our test application. And then we send the put request to update the same job entry. In future also, when I will discuss more endpoints that are present in the test application, that have a dependency on the post request. So that means these steps will be duplicated in another feature file also when I'm testing the other endpoints. So whenever you come across a duplicate piece of code, it is a good approach to extract them in a form of a method and call them. But in our case, as we are dealing with the feature file, we cannot create the method and call in the feature file. So Karate framework provide an alternative. You can call the one feature file from the another feature file. I can extract out these steps in another feature file and then call that particular feature file in this current feature file. So let me show you how it is done. So I'm going to extract these steps in a reusable unit. As this step will be used by other endpoint, so it is better to put them in a location that will be accessible to other package. And that's why I'm going to put that feature file that contain these steps in the top level package. So inside this package, let me add a feature file and let me call it as create job entry. Inside this feature file, first I will add the feature keyword and then provide a short title. Then I'm going to create the scenario and provide a short title. And then I'm going to copy these steps and move to the this feature file. And let me add one more statement for the base URL. I'm going to comment this to statement and also hard code the job ID. As this job ID will be needed by the put request, so we need to know what is the job ID. So this is our feature file which contain common step that will be reused by other feature file. Now inside our update job entry feature file, let me create one more scenario and that is going to call the create job entry feature. So let me create the duplicate copy of this scenario. Also update the title. I will remove all these steps where we are sending the post request. And I will change the job ID to the hard coded value that is 125 because that's what we specified in our this feature file. Now in this scenario, I need to make a call to this feature file. If I don't make a call to this feature file, the job entry with the ID 125 will not be there and our scenario will fail. So in order to call the another feature file, we need to follow this syntax. So first is the Gherkin keyword. Followed by call keyword. And then read method. And in the read method, we need to specify the location of the feature file. So this is how you call the another feature file. So call is another keyword which is coming from the Karate framework. So given call and read. And I will pass the location of the feature file in the read API. Now let us look at the location of this package. So this is the location of the package and the feature file is present on the top level package. So I need to use double dot operator in order to refer to the parent package. So double dot slash and the name of the feature file. Also, let me update our JSON path. So 
So when we run this particular scenario, it is going to call this feature file, which is going to create the job entry with this ID for us. And then we will perform the update on the same job entry. So let me go ahead and run the runner. So as you can see here, our scenario is passing. Okay, let me change this job ID. So as we know that when we call this particular feature file, it is going to create the job entry with the job ID as 125. Whereas we are trying to update with the job ID as 124. So in this case, this scenario will fail. So as you can see here, and the status code is 404, which is the correct one. So in this manner, you can call the one feature file from the another feature file. As I mentioned earlier, whenever you have a code which is getting duplicated, it is always better to move all those code in a, another feature file and then call that feature file into your scenario. So one more thing I want to highlight. Whenever you are creating a feature file that will act as a helper feature file, or you can say the sole purpose of that feature file is to be called by another feature file, I will recommend you to have only single scenario in that feature file. If you have multiple scenarios, it is always better to combine them in a single scenario.